drilled the first first hole and just took off the edges. <laughs> Important note for the rest of you, if you do put out an in cap, whatever you drop in here, it's gonna be pretty hard to take out, obviously, yeah. Uh, and obviously if all the gunk that you clean off, you can just flush the system. But if you end up with the um, uh, these caps in here, you're gonna have to sort of take it out uh, a little bit more, it's a little bit more tricky to get out. I was lucky enough that my first one got stuck in here so I could easily take it out, but I suspect that I won't be as lucky as I go through and, and do the, the rest of them. But then again, it's still, I mean, I can just lift it up and pour it out, but it would have been easier if I had left this MKF off until the very end, so important tip. I'm gonna go ahead and pre-drill the other holes because one thing I found out was um, the big drill in the mid center here is not very sharp, so it has tendencies to sort of slide to side, side to side. Um, so I'm gonna pre-drill um, my holes and I'm gonna actually gonna end up with, a <laughs> basically, things tend to um, I improvise, adapt and overcome uh, rather than just proper think ahead and plan. So uh, I initially thought I would have three three pipes, excuse me, and then three pipes more at the end, but it's just not gonna match up. Uh, and I've gotten some issues with this thing being in the way. Obviously I can't move that. I don't wanna move the system further this way. So I'm gonna end up having four tubes on this side and two extra tubes on this side, and maybe room for an extra tube to expand at some point. What I'm also gonna do is I'm gonna have uh, 20 centimeters between each of these to hold each of the tubes and then in between those what I think I'm gonna do is I'm gonna have holes to do hydroponics at the bottom so I'm gonna have aeroponic tubes and then in between because down here we're gonna have water trickling down I figured why not just have another plant sitting in between I've got the space for it it's getting the water hey why not I'm gonna get that a go as well um, and my tank, I mean, it's going to be pretty tight, but, uh, yeah, it's coming along. Let's start pre-drilling and, um, we'll see where we get with this. So those should be my five holes. Did I not just say four? So this is what happens when you don't think ahead. Uh, another thing that you can learn from me. So if in doubt, don't do what Elf just did. <laughs> Hopefully it will still fit. Uh, it still has 20 centimeters between each, which was my original idea. Uh, and because it's it's 50 centimeters in here, so I've gone ahead and I've glued these uh, 100 millimeter to 50 millimeter joints on. It's gonna sit in like this. So it might, I mean, it's gonna turn and fit in just nice and gonna be easy enough to take out. Should be close enough. Um, but with the next one in here, you can see there's not gonna be a lot of room. Um, so if you are doing any sort of hydroponics in between them, it's gonna be very small, but hey, there's room for it, why not? This is all about using the, the space available to you. So we're gonna give it a go. sandpaper here is like 80 no 60 even um, just so you can get the, the rough edges off all right so yeah, as you can see things are slowly <laughs> very slowly starting to um, to come together uh, what I need to do now is get the 65 millimeter 45 degree elbow joints um, basically placed in a, in a pattern here something like 45 degrees all the way down I have 78 of these for the six tubes um, now the problem is figuring out which hole saw will actually match this because the closest one that I can find is probably a little bit too small 
uh, so it's going to be a real pain getting it in there and there's no there's really no size in between that's going to fit it so I'm going to do the first hole see how much of a uh, pain it's going to be uh, and then I have a small Dremel tool which may or may not help me in this okay so um, doing 78 holes I'm doing them somewhat the same uh, is the point where you're going to want to have a template for how you're going to do it uh, what I've done is I've taken this piece of um, length of wood and I've just marked down every T in 10 centimeters with a marker um, and then I've I'm basically using it um, I'm putting this to the edge of the PVC pipe the, uh, the fitting and then I know that if I put it like this to the side of it I'll do once um, one marking along the side of it I'll put it on top of course so I know that it's 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 a straight line uh, I'll do two of those uh, 75 millimeters between them uh, diameter wise and then I'll do basically just say okay along this line that I've marked say 20 centimeters 20 centimeters and just mark that off and with the other I'll start off at 10 centimeters and then at 20 centimeters 20 centimeters that way I'll get a split between my fittings when they come out like this and then I'll be one more uh, adjusted for for spacing like this and this and then they'll just basically you know climb up um, hopefully it should be somewhat similar results once I'm done but um, if this one is wrong uh, the others will be equally wrong <laughs> Um, but I think it should be okay. It should give me enough spacing between um, so that it will still be pointing more outwards rather than to each side because remember the pipes are going to be next to each other parallel so we don't want it pointing too much out to the sides because the, you know, the pipes are actually fairly close together. So, all right. So, finally done uh, the 13 holes in each uh, 13 holes in this first pipe and it was <laughs> it was uh, it was painful I gotta say um, uh, mainly because I had to use this uh, you know variable hole saw and these blades that come with it they are just absolute crap they keep falling out every single hole you make uh, get stuck all sorts of things I really wish I had one size a non variable hole saw um, uh, just because it would make my life so much easier con especially considering there are four more sorry five tubes left um, not to mention there's a different system um, before I get to that different system I might change change that up but first things first this is the first one done and um, I'm gonna take a small Dremel tool and just see how what I can do to get these uh, fitted in Ow! now it is close actually um, they don't need a whole lot but it's gonna end up looking something like this. Um, and so when pointing in one direction, I don't know if you can see this, um, it shouldn't come out too bad, I think. So far, I'm quite happy with it. Uh, so yeah, on with the next step. All right, it's official. Um, so I finished up the first, the first tube out of the six and I pre-drilled the other ones but I'm not gonna go ahead and use the the hole saw just because it is it's an absolute nightmare with the uh, variable type so what I'm gonna do is um, well I went actually out to my home improvement store and I did have a look around to try and find one with a, a fixed a fixed size uh, unfortunately they don't seem to have any they all they have are variable sizes but this just keeps coming off and flying everywhere and getting stuck and it's just just horrible um, but at least now I know which size I need to use so for the uh, 45 degree elbow point uh, points I need 44 millimeters um, so I'm gonna go ahead on Amazon and see if I can find that uh, just to make my life a lot easier before I do the other 60 plus holes here that I need so do yourself a favor if you go out and, and figure that you'll do this whole thing with the variable ones don't <laughs> Uh, or, or do and, and end up very frustrated along the way um, any questions comments please leave them below 
and uh, I'll try and answer them as soon as I can. Stay tuned, see where this is going.